Cooking from the Heart is my third cookbook. Recently, I returned to Germany and Provence where I learned so many things about cooking and life from great chefs who became lifelong mentors and friends. From like the age of nine, 10, I knew that you know, I wanted to cook. I loved to cook. But I really put all that on the back burner right after high school, just up enjoying the Marine Corps. However, I knew that I wanted to go to culinary school and become a chef. I went to culinary school. I went to the greatest culinary school in the country, the Culinary Institute of America. We think that chefs graduate from culinary school and you're just a master chef, and that's not how it works at all. After culinary school, I was frankly looking for more. So 20 years ago, I began going to Europe to work in restaurants with master chefs. Those experiences transformed me forever. My first job was here in the Black Forest of Germany working with famed chef Carl Josef Fuchs. He made me realize the true importance of sustainability. This is a religion here. This is what he's been doing, and this is how the Spielweg has existed since 1733. When I arrived in Germany, I thought I knew a little something about food. After all, I'd worked in great restaurants. Boy, did I have another thing coming. <laughs> I made a few mistakes, and through those mistakes, I've learned so many things. Like the time I was told to prep potatoes. No problem, I've peeled thousands. So when the sous chef invited all the cooks together around, I thought, I'm gonna be praised, right? Couldn't have been further from the case. They all laughed when they saw all my potatoes soaking in the water. A technique that I'd learned in cooking school. Well, the lesson that day was never soak your potatoes in water, because out come the starches as well as all the flavors. And so I want to show you just a chapter on potatoes and all the different things that you can do that elevate the ingredient. So I go home and I get a job working for this gregarious little Frenchman called Constantin Caragiorgio, a Greek name, but he grew up in France. He hired me with one condition. Every summer, I had to go to work in France. As he would say, you must cook la vraie. It has to be authentic, you know, that very few people know how to make a proper bouillabaisse. And at the time, I thought, okay, this man's crazy. Why is he sending me on these wild goose chases across Provence? And the thing of it is, is that I learned so many little lessons that I still use today and I exercise in all of the kitchens. Check out Vegetable Love. Together, we'll coax the most flavor from the garden. I'm talking eggplant, fennel, chanterelles with shrimp and pumpkin risotto, artichokes, fava beans on the grill, and stuffed zucchini blossoms. You know, I've been fishing my whole life. I grew up fishing, though I never understood how to respect and cook the fish properly until my mentors revealed their secrets. Here's trout and salmon, sea bass, char, and mussels cooked seven ways. I have one whole chapter dedicated to soups. Another on pâtés and terrines, which are really, really so easy to make. So how about a new take on meat? Like chocrut, veal, roast marrow bones, molotosh in a German ravioli, and an Alsatian stew called backoff, made with lamb, pork, and beef. And for dessert, incomparable clofiti, tarts, cheesecake, and six recipes just for pot creme. I'm truly excited about creating this cookbook because it's something so personal. So many life lessons that I learned through food in my journey, and that I just want to share this with people. I hope you'll laugh at my blunders and not have to repeat them yourselves. But when you do make a mistake, I hope there's delicious and memorable as mine. <laughs>